Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. Uh, in this video I'm going to work with navigations here in uh, Statamic. I have add here the, added here the navigation. We have home about, this is just f f copy from the flow byte. If I click to about, yeah, we have slash uh, hashtag. Also, if I go here, nothing changed. We have pages, so if I just uh, navigate the slash control panel I'm going to log in here and we can go to collections pages and we have home about and the contact page okay this was contact page I just removed the pages I have here the contact and also was a child of the about page and I moved right here okay now let's work with navigations so we go to navigation, uh, sorry, go to navigation and then we can create a new page. So navigations are, uh, let me just zoom into a little bit. Navigations are multi-level lists of links that can be used to build nav bars, footers, uh, sitemaps and other forms of front-end navigation. We can learn more here. So if I click, we navigate the statamic.dev navigation section and we can read more or here we can create a new navigation and to create a navigation we need to add the title and the handle and for the title as we can see we have here we recommend a name that matches where it will be used so for example if is for the footer we have a footer nav or if it's the my nav we can say my nav or you can name it what you like so I'm going to say uh, my nav like this and the handle is mine underscore nav. You can navi uh, you can change this just to say, for example, mine here. And I'm going to say create navigation. And we are in the main nav navigation. We can add an item. We can configure the navigation. So enable linking to collections, set a max depth, and so on. If I click here, you can see uh, I did the blueprint collection so enabled link into entries in the collection so for example pages and so on I'm going to save this let's go back link to entry a read the nomination also link to URL and here is very simple we can link the URL I had by adding the title and the URL and I'm going to say this is going to be the home and let's just copy this URL and paste it here. Just remove everything we have here. I'm going to say submit. Next, I'm going to add a new one, which is going to be the about. We have also the about, and this is going to be a slash about. Okay. And I'm going to submit this and also add one more item here, which is going to be the contact. We have three pages. I'm going to say contact this one, okay? And instead of just about, I will say uh, contact. Save this. Now, if I've used the site and we have the same thing. We need to change the navigation here. For that, I'm going to open the VS Code. So let me just open the VS Code and let's navigate the views, partials, and we have here the navbar. Okay. And as you can see, we have here the logo, the flow byte, then we have the home and other links. So we have here the link for the flow byte which is in the remain as it is then we have the svg for the mobile and then we have the ul with the list of links allies i'm going to leave only one ally here and remove everything else so just leave only one if i save and come here and refresh we have only the home one then here now how we can use that uh, 
navigation we created in the backend. We can say double curly braces and use the nav tag. As I told you in the previous video, in Satamic we have uh, so called tags which we use in the double curly braces. For the navigation, the name of the tag is nav colon, and the argument is going to be the name we added for the of the navigation. So if I go back here, we named this mine nav, but the handle was just I leave just mine like this, and of course we need to close the nav. So let's say nav colon mine. I'm going to save this and I'm going to go to our page and I'm going to refresh. We have three homes because we have, uh, if I go back here, we have three links home, about, and the contact. Now just let me expand the link. And here, when we have the shref, we're going to add the link. We see we have a title and we have the URL. So here now we're going to say double curly braces and just saying URL. And here when we have hard coded the home, we are going to say double curly braces and the title, which is the title of the mind navigation. Now let's save and let's see on browser how it's going to look. If I refresh, we have the home, about, and the contact. If I click the about, we are on the about page, contact. We have a 404 page not found. Yeah, I make a mistake here. Contact. We need to say contact like this. And let's save the changes. Okay, let's got about. Let's got a contact. And we are on the contact page. Okay. This is how we can use. Uh, create a navigation and use that navigation in here. You can also add your styles. But let me just go back again in our page. We have also the footer. We have here some links. Okay. Let's go and see where the links are. Footer. Then yeah, we have the URL. The same, I'm going to remove the links, leave only one. Okay, if I save and just come. Here and refresh, we have only the about. Now we can create a, a new nav bar for the footer, or in, if we want to have all the links that we have in the collection pages. So, for example, home about and the contact, I have as a link, so we can use that. And how we can do that? Let's go here and say double curly braces again. We're going to use the nav tag. So nav colon. And now instead of the name of the navigation, we're going to use the collection. And which collection is? Is the pages collection. Okay, we have here collection pages. If we say that like this, and also we need to close that. So let's double curly braces and just say nav collection pages I'm going to save and let's come here and see right now we have only the about but if I refresh we have two about and why we have two abouts because we have three pages okay we have a home about and a contact but the home is uh, not included in the link when you use navigation, the home is not included on the link. If we want, we can include that by saying here, include underscore home to be true. And now if I say save, and let's see again. Here, if I refresh, now we have three abouts. Okay. Now instead of Something like this, we just need to add the URL and also the title. Save, come here and refresh. 
we have home about and the contact and if i click the uh, home we are home click the about we are the about click the contact and we are on the contact let's go and create the photo nav just to show you go to navigation i'm going to create a new navigation this one i'm going to name it footer sorry footer like this i'm going to create that navigation and let's add items so again i'm going to say home we set the point the slash here i'm going to say submit add new one this one is going to be for the about and here i'm going to paste this slash about and another one which is going to be the github github is an external link and when we click i want to open this in a new tab so let's say https uh, github dot go okay and imagine we have more than this one so for example we have the twitter uh, instagram and so on i'm going to save the changes and let's go back instead of the nav collection pages i'm going to remove here and just i'm going to say nav footer we have we created the footer navigation then we just save that and come here and refresh uh yeah we need also here to say nav footer i'm going to save and now if i refresh everything works correctly so we have a home we have the about which point the slash about but here we have the github when i click here now it's going to open the github in the same page which i don't want that how we can do how we can fix this we can go to navigation and on the footer for example i'm going to say edit blueprint we can link an existing or we can create a new field which i'm going to create a new field here and for example let's with add the toggle here which is going to be the la display label is going to be external link okay external link and also the handle is going to be external link default value the value to be inserted is going to be false and i'm going to say apply here okay if i go back now stay on the page and i'm going to save this first now if i go back if i go to home click the home we have the title the url now also we have this external link by default is false let me just go to github and i'm going to enable on the github so i'm going to say true the github is an external link i'm going to say submit i'm going to save the changes and right now if i come here and refresh nothing is going to change if I click again to GitHub, it's going to open the GitHub in the same page. But let me just modify here. On the nav, we have the link and we have the anchor tag. And we can say here on this link, for example, we can check. Double call the braces and we say if. And the handle was uh, external link. If this is external link. I'm going to say target blank and also we can say rel to be no opener and of course we want to close the if tag I'm going to save this and now if I go back and refresh the page we are in the about if I click the github now as you can see the github is open in new tab okay so i'm going to close again we have also let me just close this we have only two tabs the or let's close also this one we have only one if i refresh and just click the github now we have a new tab here okay that's it all about navigations in Statamic. how we can create use them in a template and also how we can customize the blueprint 
And if you like such a videos, friends, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends, and see you in the next one. All the best. Thank you very much. Cheers.